We're in Wonderland. Well, I'm like at my high school senior weight, which is weight I was 31 years ago. Yeah, I'm old. Be quiet. <laughs> oh goodness, even in a carport, my car could not escape the monsoon. Oh, car wash before work. One of the nice things about my position is I get to be all over the market. And um, which brings me to, I'm in Prescott today because I'm going to be working there in the beginning of next week. And what's really, you know, convenient uh, uh, for both the company and me is my dad lives here. So um, uh, I have accommodations and he has, a, a, it's a good place for me because he has the only piece of furniture I have left from Wisconsin, which was my old queen size bed, which is very comfortable. Um, but because of all the fires going on, it took me forever to get here. Plus uh, preparing this morning to come here, I ended up not taking a walk, but still, or getting really any workout steps, but all the activity I did, I'm at 11,000 now. I was hoping to get a hike, but I got here a lot later than I meant to, but I am gonna go to downtown Prescott this evening. I'm sure we'll be getting some steps then. And out in the wilderness, in her element. Excuse me, are you a Karen Bricker by chance? That's me. <laughs> oh, do you see that lightning? No. Yeah, that was an experience. Um, literally had to like outrun the storm on our way home. We we jogged home and um, we could feel the rain at our back. Um, yeah, that it just came, you know, up on that mountain so fast. Um, they talk about you know visibility reducing to zero suddenly. Yeah, it, it's very sudden. Um, we could see the storm from miles and miles and miles away when we were up, you know, when we got up on the mountain and had no idea that it would hit, hit us that quickly. Um, gusts of wind trying to move our bodies forward, uh, you know, dust and sand flying around. Um, it was pretty intense. Yeah, luckily my husband had put some, um, some uh, chicken drums on the smoker while we were gone. So we came home to that and some salad and by the time the storm passed through we got in the pool and tried to just get all the dust and dirt off um but yeah i think these steps should count for extra i i, I think anyway i got fit my fifteen thousand in today but uh i feel like those should count for more <laughs> i did somehow scratch and claw my way to sixteen thousand plus steps today even though i didn't take a hike or a walk with a purpose. I just had a lot of activity. Um, I need to get some sleep, I think. Hey, Marty McFly, save the clock tower. Oh, starting our Sunday morning. We're going to climb that thing if you see it behind the trees. <laughs> in until like 10 o'clock I can't remember the last time I did that like it's been years um, but clearly I needed it um, I got like nine and a half ten hours of sleep which you know I could tell I needed it because I woke up and I could feel it in my brain <laughs> um, I should hit 300,000 steps today and for you know day 19 feeling pretty good about that I'm on hike number two um, kind of a late morning, midday, mid more or yeah, midday, whatever. Hike, I'm at the Constellation Trail, sweaty, getting my vitamin D. As to yesterday that I forgot to pack my Fitbit charger. Let's see, I have, well, 61% battery life left. 
to last me the next few days. But because I have best in us points uh, and Amazon gift cards, I'm having Amazon delivering me two chargers here tomorrow because <laughs> I don't want to run out of juice. I did two and a half miles on the elliptical first, just thinking I'd get on and warm up. And before I knew it, uh, I was aiming for a new record time and I did, I hit eight and a half minutes for a mile. And that felt really good. Uh, then did all my strength training. It's so nice on Sundays because it's really not that busy in the gym and you can get whatever machine or free weights you need when you need it. So that's a good reminder for me this week to go in the morning get into the routine. It's very, I'm kind of spotty and all over the place as far as when I go to the gym and I need to make it more of a routine like I did with my hiking when it was cooler out. So yeah, maybe uh, at least four out of the next five days, I'll go to the gym in the morning before work. Got to look at my calendar and just put it on there, put it on my outlook. I'm headed to the grocery store now. I'm sure I'll get in a few more steps. I'm at about 8,000 right now. So I'll go to the grocery store, get some, uh, get some stuff to uh, cook around the grill tonight and uh, while we're lounging by the pool before I get in some steps tonight. I have a feeling I'm gonna hike or at least walk around the neighborhood, but uh, I would like to get a lot closer to like 20,000 steps today, we'll see. After two straight hikes that were nothing but climb, 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 and by the way, climb, now I'm going, to, I'm hiking around Lynx Lake for hike number three, which is a nice, easy, just a stroll along the lake, lake. but apparently I'm going to be doing it in the rain. That'll be fun. And now it's hailing. Holy mother of God. This is nuts. My car's that way. Should I turn around or should we, should we carry on? I say carry on. That hail got a hundred times worse, so I did double back and made a sprint back to my car. Well, I'm just gonna be have to be happy with a little bit over 20,000 steps. I'll have to find other ways to get more, I suppose. Thanks, Dad. I actually got a respectable night's sleep last night, which is Good, seven hours and 35 minutes and an 86 sleep score. I feel rested. Oh, after a really good day of steps, I ended up with 23,000. That hail storm kind of put a kibosh on my uh, third hike plans. So I was planning on getting more, but I'm happy where it was. Morning. 8.45, getting signed on for work, Monday morning, finished my uh, training session with my uh, trainer at the gym, and um, yeah, I committed to him that I'm going to do that program four times this week. Uh, the last few weeks, I've only been doing it like two, maybe three times a week um, because of all the stepping and hiking that I've been doing, so need to plug it into my outlook, need to go early when the everything's available, like don't have a problem getting machine or the weights that I need and uh, continue to get the 100 grams of protein or more. And um, yeah, it's gonna be a good week. Well, now I'm frustrated. Check to see my Amazon order to see if I got my Fitbit charger that was supposed to arrive today. And because I'm out in Prescott Valley, they are using USPS to deliver as opposed to you know, Amazon carriers or UPS. And because my dad is in San Diego, but the cool thing is I get the house to myself. The downside is he had his mail stopped. So when I look to see if my order arrived, it says it's being held at the carrier, which means I'm not gonna be able to get it probably until I come back here in August. So my, my Fitbit's down to 47%. Hopefully that's gonna last the next two days or at least day and a half. I think it can hold out. But oh, that's, I'll have to deal with it. So I'm out walking tonight and the lightning activity to the east has picked up a bit. Uh, I did make a really good dinner tonight um, and I wanted to tell you all about it because it's kind of a staple for us. We, uh, we throw some um, hamburger and 
some Italian sausage in the, the pan, right? Saute it up with some onions, some garlic powder, maybe some Italian seasoning. And then once it's done, drain it and throw in just a jar or two of rau spaghetti sauce or marinara sauce. Uh, it's lower carb. Ooh, there's a good one. Uh, lower carb, so it doesn't have the added sugar that like prego and ragu have. And um, yeah, it's so good. Oh, and then we throw um, heart of palm pasta in there. All right, wrapping up my day. I'm gonna hit the hot tub for a little bit. That put me to sleep. Hopefully get two good nights sleep in a row. Um, yeah, I did some shopping after dinner and um, wrapped up the day, even though I didn't really do a hike. I walked around the neighborhood, got steps doing stuff, and I'm at 17,000. So um, I really have hit on that consistency. I like a, a bad day for me now is like 13,000. Um, so uh, I, it just almost feels like day to day, and I'm just up and at it and ready to walk. And what's really cool about this is it just feels like 30 day challenge or no, this is just something that's just always going to happen. It's just so ingrained in my morning routine, no matter if I'm here in Prescott or at home. That's pretty awesome.